Good evening, and welcome to Normal World. I'm Dave Landau. I am Quarter Black Garrett, and there's Angela. Hi, glad to be here. Hey, good to have you. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Yep, you're very welcome. Well, I mean, you're you're hired there, so you kind of you kind of have to be sort here. Sort of your job. Well, wow, uh, joining us today, <laughs> joining us today, you may know him as a regular on Kill Tony or the IKYFL podcast. March twentieth, you can see him at Zany's in Chicago. The twenty first of March at Helium in Indy, the 24th, St. Louis at Helium, or April 11th at the Orlando Improv. Please welcome David Jolly. Hey. Woo! Woo! There you go. I'm supposed to look here. That's the camera right <laughs> yeah. there. Okay, all right. Camera. Yeah. How yeah. you doing, mama? <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Yeah. It's fun. Thank y'all for having me. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, dude, thanks for coming on, man. For sure. I appreciate it. I'm and really I, excited. Yes, I'm glad you're here. Thank you. I, I'm glad to be here. I'm just glad we're all here. Yeah, you know, riding that rock together. Like a family. Yes, we're all on this this sinking ship together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got to sink with somebody, you exactly. know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I, 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 I'm, the, I'm probably the best swimmer. Oh, I was just going to I was gonna play the <laughs> violin all the way down. That's what I was going to do. Uh, yeah, that's what you do while the Titanic sinks. You just yeah. play the bass. Yeah. I, uh, and also, on the show today, Celebrity Chef... Uh, please welcome and restaurateur Ooh. and owner. I but I said restaurateur like it's fancy because hey. he is fancy. Please welcome Andrew Gruel. Ow! Yeah. All right. Thanks for letting me be part of this family as well, and I'm ready to sink with the ship. I'm glad yeah. you're here. <laughs> Wait, at least you we'll eat good. Yeah, you're a fisherman. You're like you're into yeah. seafood. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, people come to me when things are sinking or falling apart. They're like, you know what? We want a last meal, and that's my role in this world. There you go. That's perfect. Have you ever have you ever caught any fish with your bare hands and skitting them alive and then threw them on a skillet? Yeah, just uh, when we did a survival shoot, you know, before it actually went, you know, went to air, they did used me as the decoy. Uh, okay, <laughs> I got you. So if one of yeah. us dies and we have to eat one of the other ones, which one? Uh, probably you. Who looks yeah. Who looks the most edible? I got the meatiness. You know? Yeah, probably you. Yeah, we'd probably yeah, kill who? you. That's Who's got not. the most? Protein? I gotta go. I gotta go, guys. To. You would be piggy. <laughs> you just <laughs> fall off the cliff. Room. Yeah. <laughs> what did you do? You broke his glasses. <clears throat> uh, all right. Welcome to the show. Also, you can see me at the Orpheum Theater in Billings, Montana, April thirteenth and March fifteenth and sixteenth at Hyenas in Fort Worth, Fort Worth, Texas. I have a terrible sold out shows. Yeah, those are yeah. sold out. Those ones oh, are nice. at the top there. And my just special teasing. is yeah, yeah. at Comedy Genius. <laughs> Uh, you can check it out, comedygenie.us. All right. Yeah. Um, so let's just go into stories because you are a celebrity chef, and I want to get in to this oh, Wonka story. Yeah, are you interested, you. Andrew? Shoot, hit me with it. All right. Why don't you explain, uh, Garrett, because you're okay. the one who found this little okay. uh, diamond in the rough. This is beautiful. Uh, on on Facebook, the in Glasgow... In uh, Scotland, they advertised the Willy Wonka, well, not Willy Wonka, the Willy's Chocolate Experience. And uh, <laughs> a $45 experience, you're supposed to bring your family. I've, I've had that behind yeah. a red lobster. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the website is willyschocolateexperience.com. And uh, you can go, that, go to the website now. Can't buy tickets, sadly, because when all the families showed up, uh, it was a warehouse. It was an empty warehouse with uh, crackheads playing all of the characters. Can we, can we play? <laughs> well, wait, the wait. So there's, there was, they, they used AI images to sell this ticket experience. Cause yeah. Can you guys bring up the full screen? It looks like. This is what they whoa, sold it as. Whoa. I'm going to okay. take my kids through this. It's going to be really cool. It's yeah. going to be fun. Maybe they'll get some candy out of it. Now let's take a look at the, um, the actual pictures. And this is what, what they got. Six. <laughs> just scroll through. Just, just like a slideshow. So it's an airport. It's an a abandoned it's an warehouse. An abandoned warehouse. It was described as. <laughs> Ooh, that's <laughs> a mean it hustle. Off. It's Woodstock '99. It's that. fire festival for what, kids. What is this? Oh man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> So the, the kids, they got one jelly bean Ooh, one and jelly bean. A, a little communion cup of lemonade. <laughs> Were the Oompa Loompas just people with birth defects? Like, <laughs> the Oompa Loompa. Oh, we Show have the Oompa Loompa. Loompa. 
there's just, <laughs> that's the one oompa loompa they add. So that's a bunch of golden ticket ones. That's a literally a, a, yes. a meth lab <laughs> with a prostitute. They also had a new made up villain called the unknown that came out of walls and scared kids. We have video. Of we that. do have a video. Yeah. Oh, so the they unknown. just they had a a, a sex offender. So yes. not only <laughs> <laughs> not only do they not get any candy, they get scarred the for kids life. Go, oh. <laughs> Man, that's a mean investment, man. Imagine the return on interest if you were to just put down like a thousand dollars. They hustled so many people. Man, that was a good. Well, they got so mad that the the families called the police. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty great. It's a, it's really funny too because they all have the Glasgow sorry, accent, man. so it's a little silly. I'm sorry. Andrew, I got to ask, what's the worst way you've ever seen a restaurant ran, and did it compare to this? <laughs> I, you know, that's pretty, that's pretty bad. I'm not going to lie. This is equivalent <laughs> to like when my kids are, did, did like a haunted house at the local baseball field one year and mm. all the crackheads were there at night because that's when they know that they can, you know, get the best meth. And <laughs> it was like you couldn't tell whether it was the meth heads or whether it was like one of the parents that was dressed up as a figure. And by the end of the night, like I was so high on meth. It was nuts. And, and because I thought that they were Kit Kats. <laughs> that's what this is like the worst experience i've ever had running a kitchen is like going into an event where somebody brought me on once they were like oh yeah we need a chef for an event and it's going to be like 600 people and we need you to come and help execute it and we got there and there was like one burner stove and enough food for 13 people so i ultimately <laughs> just made peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and people paid like 400 dollars a head and we said it was off wow. guard did they think you were Jesus? You could just like spontaneously make more food out of limited resources. Like, here's a fish. We were gonna start. We were gonna start picking grass. <laughs> that's amazing. So, yeah, that's. I have had that in Detroit where you do go to a couple haunted houses and you're like, we shouldn't have come here. Every single thing in my son's is, bag is just wrapped in tin foil. Oh yeah, it's not rock candy. It's definitely, it's definitely eight mile. Yeah. <laughs> How do you eat this? Oh, well, you put a lighter under the tin foil. Right underneath it. Right underneath it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, the comedian that they hired to play Willy Wonka has come out and has been like, I'm sorry. I didn't mean, I'm just getting I'm a just job. An actor. I'm just an actor. Did he uh, do a summer? I reached out to him. I really want him to come on the show. That's great. That is so wonderful. <laughs> I would have laughed so hard. I just wanted to be a fly on the wall to look at the disappointment. In everybody's face. <laughs> I bet you them kids cry oh, for hours. Yeah. Who's it's devastated? You know, who saw the movie where they're like, there's a there's a ghost, right, that scares the shit out of kids? <laughs> yeah, they probably never seen the movie. You could have sold them anything. Yeah. Do we have, <laughs> do we have the video of the, of right the parents the freaking out? Um, I can get it. Get that video because it's very funny. Man. Yeah. Just the sadness. Disappointment. So, it's, unfortunately, you can't get tickets to this. I think they should reopen it. Because I think if they reopened it right now, they'd get mad tickets. So. Yeah, somebody going to check it out. Yeah. I'd go. For $45? Oh, yeah. I would go. I would go just to teach my right son now. a lesson so he would realize how valuable Universal was. <laughs> $45 was. is. His. You see yeah. the difference here? You see the differences here? For real. Yeah. It's like Andrew brought his, you know, he's brought his son to some terrible haunted houses. So he'll be like, see yeah. how good those were? Yeah. <laughs> Yep, you got that right. <laughs> Respect me. Okay. Man, that's funny. Well, I do have him for a second, though. I do want to talk to you, Andrew. I, uh, honestly, about this Kroger deal. Um, about Have you heard anything about it? Yeah, I mean, it's been going on for a while. This has been, you know, in the works, in and out. Uh, I knew it was going to get shot down, but... Okay. I was wondering, like, should, like, if it did go through, like, local growers, grocers, and farmers markets, like, essentially, would it eliminate competition outside of these two monsters? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it, it, look, the thing is, it, it's not going to, if this merger went through, there's already a consolidation in, within our food system. I don't think that it would really affect that much because they would keep the brand somewhat separate in order to at least make the pathetic attempt that there's diversification there. But there's a much bigger issue in our food system, and it's just the over-regulation of local and state-run food supplies where you can't even do interstate commerce, and you've only got like a handful of suppliers, and the government puts up tons of barriers of entry for all these small guys. So this merger getting rejected is probably because somebody's pockets didn't get greased enough. Because ultimately, it wouldn't have the effect that they're making it out to have. It's already an oligop you know, it's an oligopoly at the top with our food system. 
So I don't buy into the whole they're protecting the consumer on this. The consumer's already been screwed. Mm -hmm. Like as a restaurant owner, what would you be looking at if it were to happen? Nothing. It wouldn't have an effect on restaurants uh, per se because we buy from a uh, within food service distribution or, or a wholesale. Uh, so it wouldn't affect it that way. But there was a merger very similar to it within the food service side. It was between U.S. Foods and Cisco, which are like the two largest food distributors. And that got rejected under effectively the same principle or the same premise that it would it would um, get rid of too much competition. But uh, that is the issue, though, is, is that we only have a select few providers that we can buy from. You can't buy from local farms. You can't buy from anybody who hasn't you know, gotten the big stamp of approval from the federal or state governments you know, in conjunction with the federal government. So at the end of the day, it's already all whitewashed, and our food system is just you know, a couple ingredients being jammed down everybody's throats. they got to decentralize it. Okay, yeah, like, how do you combat that, though, like, that snowball effect? Because we keep hearing, like, the you'll eat bugs and you'll like it scenario, and is like, is there any truth to that? And is, like, there any, I mean, is there really, like, truth to that? Because I see a lot of the stuff that you've made, like, you know, like, the lobster dishes and all that stuff, I mean, everything that looks amazing at your restaurants. Is there truth to, like, really the fact that we are running out of out of these supplies? We're running out of some supplies because we the our food system is way too globalized. Initially, they wanted everything to be global so that you could bring down the prices, and there was this open economy across the across the world, right? But then, when you run into these conflicts, or you have you know leaders who are just trying to posture with other leaders, then you run into these food hiccups because you were relying so much on international products. So we don't have a domestic food supply right now. Hypothetically, yes, if we got into a massive conflict and there was a world war. Three, which looks like we're on the you know the precipice of from, from the feel of things, then and yes, we would run in. And it, well, from a civil perspective, right? That's why I think that people, so many people are trying to create their own miniature food systems because then they can be somewhat self reliant. And the government's mm -hmm. getting really aggressive about shutting those down on a local level. You in any state, even right? Because even the federal government is pushing against local jurisdictions trying to give people the freedom to produce their own food, which is why you're seeing the feds bust like Amish farmers for serving raw milk to each other. There's an underground cheese trade right now between Canada and the United States because they're trying to push unpasteurized cheese strictly for people who are like cheese heads. Uh, you know, this doesn't <laughs> affect anybody. And they're putting like hundreds of FBI or fed, federal agents on this, busting these underground cheese trades while, you know, you got <laughs> Meth heads running uh, Halloween parties for kids. Yeah. <laughs> Underground cheese. So, so to your original question, yeah, like you will eat the you'll eat the bugs, bugs and you'll like it. It's kind of a joke. They're like, we would never say that. But how many times have we seen like we would never say that? That's not happening. But then you know, two years later, it's happening. We would never right. ban your gas stoves, and now gas stoves are being banned both commercially and residentially, including the hookups in so many different cities when we were told that we were crazy for even suggesting that. So with the bugs, they're going to start mass producing the bugs and using it as a protein powder that they use as filler in right. all of our foods, the same way they did it with like um, high fructose corn syrup through the corn subsidies in the 70s and 80s. And now that's that and seed oils are in absolutely everything we eat. Bugs are going to be the same way. Yeah, they used to say that with Dave Thomas and the mealworms at Wendy's. I don't know if there was truth to what? that, but that's what my friends always said. They're like, you know, it's mealworms. <laughs> Have you uh, heard of, uh, wait, of Wendy's? That, that was the Dave Thomas fetish, actually. Was it? Oh, was he into, just, yeah, he's into those bugs. Yeah. Have you heard of the Wendy's? Yeah. I, oh, getting to the I think it's a rumor, it. but Wendy's is talking about uh, doing prices per, uh, like, as demand. Uh, yeah, yeah, surge pricing. Like, so yes. they're actually doing that. It's, it's not a per rumor. Per burger. You, you don't know how, what it's going to be. Oh, like, yeah, it, it's, a, for, it's like oh. surge pricing based on demand, and they're doing it through their app. Um, and, and it's like a grand experiment, but I would say yeah. there's a 50, 50 chance. We see all of the massive fast food companies doing that, but understand they're doing it through the app with people who are engaging by way of kind of that digital, uh, that digital economy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I remember when a junior bacon was 99 cents. It was great for a young <laughs> high fella who was 16 at your drive through yeah, Remember when double stacks? With like ninety nine cents, yeah, and the, yeah. the single, the single burger that was a big one. Now they're like four bucks for yeah. Taco Bell when it was just dog food and it was I mean, thirty cents. Exactly thirty cent for like a whole bag full of. It's yeah. kind of a benefit now Cinnamon that it's a little more on. expensive. They didn't even wrap it up. They were just like eat it out of this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. They just throw the it all in the bag. The, 
The best thing about Taco Bell's food, though, is, is that remember when it came out and they were like, oh, it turns out that you, their food is like 50% fake meat. Yeah. And Taco yes. Bell comes out and they actually did like a massive marketing campaign. They're like, actually, it's 65% real meat. <laughs> Yeah. And everyone's like, see, that's amazing. Like, it's not yeah. so bad. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's only 35%, you know, whatever. Whatever. Yeah, it's like somebody's <laughs> just a question mark on the bag. <laughs> yeah, we don't know what it is, but we know it's not real. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You don't care. You're eating a Taco Bell. Yeah, you, you don't care about it. And they owned it. Yeah, uh, yeah, they owned it. Yeah, it's great. It's like we, we use a chihuahua to get you here. Like, what does it matter? <laughs> exactly. You don't care about. You're high or drunk. It doesn't matter. Just yeah. give me this dollar fifty eight and get out of my drive. Eat it. That's what's amazing. You just have a bunch of drunk people in line at three a.m. <laughs> and then a cop sitting there like he's hunting off a bait pile. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's just <laughs> gonna make me the maddest to pull him over. <laughs> exactly. That's basically what happened. Yeah, who's gonna act like they're hammered? Like who's gonna be just as long as you're gentlemanly when you pull out? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Keep your headlights on. <laughs> yeah, that really is it. Uh, what's your um, What's your favorite dish to make? I got to ask you that because I always like to ask chefs this. And you seem to yeah, seafood seems to be obviously your specialty. But what's your What's your favorite like to eat? I would say it's just roasted chicken, right? I know okay. it sounds crazy, but it's like so simple because you got the best of all worlds. You got the crispy skin, which is kind of like the fatty bacon of chicken. You got the thighs that you braise. You got the breast, which you want to keep nice and juicy. You got the bones that you can make stock from. So one single chicken, which is also relatively inexpensive, is like the perfect avenue through which you can become an ultimate culinarian. I like that. I love chicken. Dude, I do too. Fried chicken. Who are you talking uh, grilled to? Grilled chicken. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like chicken and potatoes are my two favorite things because you can make so many different things with them in different combinations. I got chicken in my pocket right now. That's Dude, why don't you pass that over here? What is it? I love it. <laughs> it's not you a must meal. Be <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's got car chicken. For real. <laughs> you got it in the glove in, box. In the drink holder. Right. Oh, and the drink, so even thigh. faster. He's got backpack faster. chicken. Just wherever you go. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you never know when you're gonna need a drumstick. You know what I mean? Yeah, just take your hat off. <laughs> yeah. Point. It's a chicken. A piece of chicken on the. <laughs> <laughs> I got the tenders in my hat right here. I don't even Good day, it. sir. You're like, would you like? You want some nuggets? You want some jeans nuggets? <laughs> <laughs> Pass them some jeans, barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> got some honey mustard in my shoe. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> uh, good times. What? What? You know? So you you uh with food trucks. Um, what food truck would you avoid? Because in New York City, I've seen a lot. I would avoid just by the fact that they're using sewer water. <laughs> but um, what like what item do you think you should avoid from a food truck? Oh man, those those sweet and those sweet and smoky nuts. Definitely avoid those because you don't know how many times those things have been handled. But oh. overall, like everybody wants to avoid the. I, I like the halal cart because that chicken's cooked for hours, so they're killing anything in there, and you're just getting all your flavor from the hot sauce and the creamy sauce. Uh, you know, but I, I'm telling you, avoid the guys with the nuts and the pretzels. Oh, that's terrifying to me now, Angela. <laughs> you looked worried. I yeah, I was like I'm. I, 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 Go I ahead, eat, say it. I eat those a Sam lot. Sam, what you love nuts. <laughs> I love them. Oh. I love salty nuts. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I, I, I've eaten many pretzels. Really? Yeah. I don't think I've ever had a, a New York City pretzel off of a cart. Yeah. I've had the, the dirty <laughs> hot dog water hot dogs, which are fantastic, by the way. They're Yeah, they're great. good. <laughs> yeah, disgusting, but good. Yeah. yeah. The diarrhea later. Let no, you know. I've never had oh, any yeah, it's, nuts. It's happening later. Oh, yeah. You don't feel good for days. Nah. But you feel good eating it. Do you think um, ever since the movie Chef came out, people are overly excited about the Cuban sandwich, even though it's a sandwich I've always loved? Yeah, definitely. I think what happens when you get these <laughs> celebrities doing like one dish, uh, everybody obsesses over it. And look, the Cuban sandwich is awesome. Don't get me wrong. But uh, everyone's screwing it up now and doing their own bastardized spin on it. Most restaurants turn it into junk. That's my problem. And I, you know, I'm going to go ahead and say it. Hulk Hogan. You did that in Florida. Now, look, I went to your restaurant. Nobody thought they were going to be pleased. But <laughs> that was a new level of disappointment. With oh, no. <laughs> I mean, you went to Hulk Hogan restaurant. Yeah, I was like, what is this, seagull? What did you put on here? <laughs> right out the bay. Was it in Tampa? It was in Tampa? Yeah, it was in Tampa. Yeah, right outside Tampa. He he got a uh, Hulk Hogan store in Orlando. Orlando. Too. But yeah, it's dude. actually an old 7-Eleven. Yeah. It's like a bunch of like like he'll pop out like oh yeah yeah 
Yeah. It's yeah. It's, he's got like a three a three D sculpture of himself on top of it. Like yeah, Volker. it's so, huge. It's yeah, he, he he does karaoke here and gets his son drunk until he gets pulled over. <laughs> oh, here? No, in the one in Tampa. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He lives no, in Tampa. No, not in Dallas. Like, oh, no, no, not here. in Dallas. Um, all right. Well, I got one last question for you, my friend. Uh, where can we find you? Uh, I'm on Twitter at Chef Gruel. I'm on Instagram at Andrew Gruel. You can get follow all, get all my recipes and dishes on Substack, American Gravy, backslash Andrew Gruel. Uh, and that's where you got me. Look, this has uh, really been an honor. I appreciate you guys having me on. Anytime you want to talk food, I'm here for you. Dude, I, I love it. Thank you so Thank much you. for coming on. I'm a big fan. I really appreciate your time. Nice. Thank you. But one last question. <laughs> oh, no. What? Oh, we forgot to do the one <laughs> yeah, last question. Yeah, we got to do one, one last ruined. question. Yeah. Oh, man. Dang it. Okay. Uh, Jam Master. Murder. I wanted to see one more Willy Wonka Talk about thing. That. I we do have... have the clip. Oh, that's the... right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. man. Oh. <laughs> I didn't want to. David's that's also hard. our guest, so I, I wanted to make sure we split our time here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. I'm, I'm happy to be here. I like this Willy Wonka story. <laughs> yeah, I, I, just see didn't, the, I didn't want to get too inappropriate with a celebrity. I never yeah. know the line with people that are professional. Right. Uh, and I know we've worked together. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't <laughs> You're want, not professional. Yeah. Is that what he's saying? No, it's a different just, he level. Doesn't, he doesn't oh. care what he says. Okay. Yeah. Uh, would you want like to see anyway. Glasgow Mothers no, very he, pissed? But, hmm? Would you like to see Glasgow Mothers very pissed? Glasgow Mothers. Very oh, yeah. Scottish Mothers. Yeah. This, oh, this was in Scotland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This uh, Willy Wonka experience. Roll, roll. We get to see the looks on the kids' faces yeah. on this one. Yeah, we're, 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 <laughs> Willy, <laughs> Willy's chocolate experience was at the whitest place on earth. Yes. <laughs> also, his little white kids were just. Oh yeah, little glass devastating. Guy. Yeah, in a place where there's no sun. Yeah, Let's it's constantly it. raining and gray. Yeah, man. One moment of color, they were like, ah, taken yeah, from them. Killed them dreams real quick. Yep. Oh yeah, snatched. They found a stool. And swiped it right out of me. <laughs> <laughs> this is beautiful. Here we go. All right, let's go. I don't, I don't care. I, I, we paid money. So what's, what's your name? Right, there's children here. And no, this is this is illegal. This is illegal. What he's are doing? It's illegal. Sounds like chicken. Right, you said you're here to represent. You're here to represent a company that's taking money off parents. Chocolate experience. Grandparents for children. Look at these. Look at these people coming. Oh, look at that line. So sad. Lots of people with their children here. This is absolutely bang out. It's raining right now in the footage. All right, I'm a little sad. Nah, I'm just joking. Yeah. <laughs> I take it. I mean, you gotta think they having it at uh like a recreational center, man. They, you giving them forty five dollars for this? Yeah, I'd be pissed. I, I'm sure it's forty five per. I'd be mad that I let these people get me. You know what I mean? Because when I get it, I know it's a scam when I get yeah. to the rec center. Yeah, just the exterior. You got to know before you walk in. I mean, how come they have security that looks so much like security? Yeah, but you can't make it look like Willie. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, that, that inside was terrible. I mean, it looks like a factory. It just looks like one that makes shoes with Chinese kids. with little Asian kids yeah. in there. <laughs> I was waiting on some little Asian eyes, but it ain't pop out. Just to peek out, and they're like, we make chocolate. <laughs> it's like Fire Festival. Which, by yeah, the way, that kids. guy's doing another Fire Festival. He what? just got out of jail. That's the dude that was with Ja Rule, right? Fire yeah. Festival. Yes. Uh-huh. Yes. He's doing it again. Do you think Ja's going to get back in? No, he said he, he said he wouldn't. Why would you get out of jail and go, you know what put me here? I'm going to do that. Let's do it. Let's yeah. turn it up some more, he's man. Buried. He's <laughs> buried in, in debt. That's why. That's what he said. He went on Daniel Tosh's podcast and was saying, like, oh, I owe so much money. This is all I know how to do. Give me another but chance, I'm man. <laughs> all I know how to another do is, chance. is throw scam festivals. <laughs> the beauty behind it is it's still going to be some people that pay for those tickets. Yeah. Yeah. Do people just love a party. He's got yeah, a million dollar ticket. I don't care who there. It could be like nine people there. Just uh, even uh, if you just uh, get, uh, get where's this <laughs> festival gonna be? The Caribbean. Yeah, you know where they got dropped the off at a, at a sandbar, and they were like, "We'll be back with food," and then they never returned. Yeah, they, it, wait, they wait they wait Jaru to come out. He never comes. Exactly. Out. He says he wants Kanye way. this time. Oh, oh. yes! <laughs> oh my God, yes! Kanye. It goes down exactly the same way, except instead of Jaru leaving and never showing up. 
Kanye actually shows up. That'd be sweet. He come on a helicopter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He jump out and flip out and then jump into a parachute and land on the stage. That'd be pretty yeah. sweet. And instead of rapping, he just reads the Turner Diaries. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be the best. The Henry Ford autobiography. Yeah. He's just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's sitting in a rocking chair, <laughs> That'd be so nice. Man. <laughs> That. How many of is Jewish? And you realize there's a shark tank? Man. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> hmm. It's is a different fire here? festival. This is, I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel terrible for these people. It is, I mean, it's hilarious. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I do feel bad for them. I mean, I'm just joking, but, like, because yeah. it's those kids, those kids, all that, like, that, those are dreams just yeah. crushed. Yeah, because there's nothing about it that's, like, it's just a complete scam, and then a ghoul jumps out. <laughs> yeah. It scares yeah. your children. Yes. There's no refunds. <laughs> <laughs> That's rough. I mean, in those people, I'm pretty sure that factory, that like, they still have slavery over there. So them yeah. people waited a long time to save up $45. Right. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of money. Do they have Go a ahead. picture of Willy Wonka? Um, let me, let me see. Video. I've seen him without the costume on. I hope he's a black dude with his hat to the back. Hey. <laughs> it's, I oh, really hope said. so, man. <laughs> I really a little ginger too. guy. A ginger yeah, dude. Yeah, ginger. I hope he's he looks pretty funny. funny. I thought he was funny. His video oh, was pretty funny. Uh, he looks like okay. Crazy Bone. I do have a picture of him. In he was like, fir too. first red flag is that they hired me because if the first like the first thing you see in me is Willy Wonka, you're yes. wrong because I'm That's more not... like. <laughs> He looks like a lawn jockey. Oompa Loompa. <laughs> <laughs> the greatest showman. <laughs> Why would you give him this? He's like, just wear what you have in your closet. <laughs> <laughs> looks like a lion tamer. <laughs> come on the show. Come on the show. Let's come on the show. I want show. you to come on here. I'm not going to make fun of you. Like I want you to make fun of this. This is terrible. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, I guess if it's... A, it looks like the guy who would beat the shit out of Dumbo. <laughs> man, let's just treat him horribly and his mother. Yeah, just, like Siegfried if, if, always understudy. If yeah. they ran this as promo and you still pay forty five dollars, you deserve to get scammed. Oh yeah, just standing yeah. in front of a mirror with his iPhone. <laughs> yeah, with Willy Wonka. Yeah, but Willy this Wonka, was all come, AI. Come see my midgets. I yeah. mean minions. <laughs> <laughs> I mean crack whores and making mad. <laughs> yeah. There's one Oompa Loompa. What? <laughs> She's very very high. She's strung out. <laughs> She's been tweaking <laughs> for four days. She got Oompa like seven series in her Oompa Loompa do. Man, I have another hit for me. <laughs> she probably got gout too. That'd be oh, sweet yeah. if she got gout. Yeah, I imagine she's sitting most of the time. <laughs> oh yeah. Smoking a Virginia Slim. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone kid? Just a jelly bean yeah. and some limonene. You want me to dance or something? Yeah. I can <laughs> no no, please don't take your clothes off in front no, of me. No, no, no. <laughs> I gotta move. Different show, different show, different show. I gotta move my <laughs> legs around and stop the clots. <laughs> 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 uh, they, they've asked to stop showing the kids your vagina <laughs> but I thought it was a chocolate experience yeah. they don't want to see the real factory yeah. <laughs> this thing's I, making babies all the time i show you what the chocolate's made yeah I sell them for parts <laughs> That's how I get most of my money. Oh, Selling the babies that come out of this factory. Oh, man. We should get more Oompa Loompas oh, than yeah. just this one. Yeah, for real. <laughs> she might be defective, man. We gotta <laughs> get her back to act me, man. Yeah, she's, got a, <laughs> she's got a hook. She keeps tickling the children. <laughs> <laughs> These kids ain't acting for that. Kid, eh? Keep your hands to yourself, man. Please. <laughs> Freaking these kids. Are, they gotta go to school in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> She got a cigarette and like her, cr her gl <laughs> <laughs> you know, little clamps. Oh man. Hi. She got a like lever on it. She got to do this to open and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants jelly bean? <laughs> oh, I got it. Uh, don't, don't, don't grab one at a time so you get one. All right, don't. I can't kiss you on the. I can't kiss any of you. It's, it's illegal. Don't get it's very safe. Told me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to rule. To rule. Oh my god. That's the odor. Oh, it's me. Take a look. That's beautiful. The world of imagination. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. I don't know. 
Look at how much stuff I got in here. <laughs> she just like bent over the bar. <laughs> Man, we got to actually just look where I can back a job back up in the chair. Does anybody know what happened to the 16 Wonka bars? <laughs> For real. Just shooting them like ping pong. They got mushrooms in them or something. <laughs> <laughs> they might, they might have Jesse's meth in them. To be honest, with you. Did, did you see that setup? Just bring it a setup, man. Bringing like home cooked lab. candies. Oh yeah, yeah, for real. With a little extra in them. Man, that's funny. Well, speaking of beautiful women, oh my god. While we're uh, while we're on this, yeah, uh, we're gonna go right into this lady. <laughs> this. this did this Venice it? Beach lady oh. who oh, okay. one fine piece of ace. Mm. Uh, on Monday, a naked woman uh, went on a mini rampage in Venice Beach attacking people. Why wouldn't you? Yeah, I mean, it's Venice Beach, so it was the least weird thing going on in Venice Beach. I get it. Makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. You ever been there? Uh, I've been to L.A. I ain't been to Venice Beach yet. Yeah, no. I've heard I stories, and I've seen stuff, and not... I haven't been there, but is it legendary day? Oh, yeah. I first lit, went there in 2002, and the first thing I saw, well, I guess the first thing I noticed was there was a homeless, well, I assume they were both homeless. I shouldn't, I shouldn't guess <laughs> yeah. that just one was. <laughs> yeah. One would jump off the, another dude's back into a baby pool of broken glass for money and then Damn. just bleed everywhere. Oh, and like, and you know, behind them you have like just people working out and like on rollerblades. Like it's like, normal. Yeah, and it's nobody like, seeing these dudes kill each other. No, over. and it was just you know you have like homeless people washing their balls in like the drinking oh, fountain. Right. And like now it's just like everything's a pot store. But at that time it was like you know everything was slices of pizza and everybody was just it was like Muscle Beach. It was still terrible. Yeah, a little entertainment though. Yeah, but now it was you know at at that time it was a little. A little more reserved. Yeah. <laughs> this is downright wholesome. Yeah. Back then. So let's take a look at it now. Do we have the video we by do. chance? Oh, I'd love well, you to know see we it. Do. I'd, I'd love to see the, And don't worry, she is blurred out, I think. Yes, I don't know. She is. Let's hope. <coughs> oh, what is yeah. the Wonka lady? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was expecting bigger. Well, Why? It, it is Muscle Beach. I don't know. <laughs> what, why are they fighting again? Uh, this, okay, so she's. I think the naked lady is clearly on drugs, and she's trying. Look to at like, those steps. Yeah, yeah. You could just be being um, herself. She gets that club that. I don't know where she, the club came from. To be she honest, she walks like a gazelle. It's like got nails in it. What yes. the fuck? <laughs> oh, this is my fucking barbarian. Yeah, you don't want a naked yes. woman. Where with did she get this? She like the wonder, the Wonder Woman village. <laughs> oh, that's boy. a mean uh, that's model right, step though. though. She got. She's probably been trained. Oh yeah, she's certainly she's she's got a good prance. Yeah, it's pretty nice. And now now the one lady has somehow found okay. another weapon. That's what I was <laughs> she expecting. She can't hold on to them. But the fact that she is Diane Weed fighting in the buff is incredible. Diane Keaton. She looks in her, good. In, in her head, it's like John Wick. She's just like <laughs> Yeah. She thinks she's Harley Quinn. Seriously. In the buff too, she gotta be a real trooper. Yeah, for sure. She ain't worried about like getting Slapped and then you know. I'm surprised this isn't a unicycle. <laughs> yeah, I wish it was. That'd yeah. be the best. I wish it was, and I were guy on rollerblades. I also wish it was, and he was getting hit a lot. Who on the on the unicycle? <laughs> yeah. That'd be. I beautiful. wish it was a guy getting with, hit off a unicycle, <laughs> and then with the unicycle. <laughs> yeah, that'd have been better. Man, and I guess uh, she was handing out tickets to Prices Right. Oh, oh, the lady, they got <laughs> mad about them. The Price is Right tickets, yeah. huh? Oh. No, I guess so. Yeah, that's what they're known for. <laughs> yeah, so this woman, yeah. I don't know what happened to her. I guess Probably not uh, arrested, I would assume. That's no, just like yeah. normal Probably behavior not. in that's, L.A. Yeah. It's like on 6th Street in Austin, man. Them people don't go to jail oh, until dude, you like, no. hit a police horse. Then you're going to prison. Yeah, dude, when I was walking there the other night, like I, f I always forget that people are hiding behind stuff. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> everywhere. And I forget. Everywhere. You're, you're, out, you're walking out of a decent hotel, and you're just like, ah! It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like my own personal Wonka house. And yeah. Just, uh, yeah, I always forget that. They're just hiding. Anywhere downtown, and they be like, what do you need? Yeah. You're like, what do you need? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. I'm good. Yeah. Like, you need some insurance, sir. <laughs> you need to go see somebody about that itch. <laughs> that like, you got to care now yeah. anywhere? I feel Plus. like you're not selling me something mm -hmm. I want. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. you're using it. Yeah. yeah. I'm judging by the fact that your feet are falling off. <laughs> off of your body. <laughs> and you slice both arms and now dripping all the way down the street. Yeah. Real story. We we saw that in Austin. We did. It was pretty. <laughs> yeah, that's a 
Oh, y'all seen it. Y'all oh, yeah. Seen it. Uh, we, yeah, uh, yeah. Somebody like slit their wrists in Austin and like, was, we, we followed, y'all followed the trail. Yeah, he slit, he slit both of his arms up top and then it was just like he was wearing red gloves. It sounded like he was a just Friday walking night. down the street. I don't be surprised by nothing that I see. It's one guy that he's like real flexible and he like do all kind of crazy stuff. Then he locks himself into a suitcase. He get in and lock himself in. And I always wonder like, why? Why he does? Why, what's the suitcase for? You know, <laughs> that sounds like a magician of some sort. Mine was I, not. He, I think there was no skill involved. He got like a little tip thing, so he's more of a performer, street performer, performer. street performer. Yeah, it'd be funny if you just light the suitcase on fire. <laughs> yeah, or, or throw a little padlock on. What are you gonna do now? <laughs> Let me see you get out of that nut, badass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get out of that, sucker. Yeah, come on, starts just going like. Yeah, come do the prestige now. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> Oh it's man, that where he dies. I never thought of that. You just hear a guy and there's like, I'm losing air. It's yeah, not- yeah, okay. I'm done. Hey, I can't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> Is it worth $5? Jesse! <laughs> oh man. Oh. oh, I hate street performers. So yeah, sad. like the second you're there, it's like the. um. Like in Vegas, you'll have like the guy who's painted who's a human statue. Yeah. It's like give him money to get him to dance. Yeah. It's like, well, I'm not going to do that. Not even dedicated enough to stay in one place. I'd prefer to just give you money to eat. Yeah. Not to dance. Keep the, the footwork, you know? Yeah, I don't like that. No. Because you, you like, uh, you wearing off energy. You're going to need more money later. You're going to be tired as I know yeah. it after that dance. <laughs> I'm only giving you like $3, buddy. Yeah. Would you, you like a jelly bean and some lemonade? Yeah, yeah for real. I think on the Wendy's scale, you don't even know what burger you're going to be able to yeah, get. Yeah, Yeah. Cause it's gonna be like the what like a, how they do at seafood spots where it's like two ninety five a pound today. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Market it's on the market. Price. Yeah, by inflation. Imagine that a market price for <laughs> a Wendy's burgers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for a Dave Thomas Wendy's. That's burger. where we are now. That's what, pretty wild. Hell, this is a sad thing to talk about, but uh, but a, probably a very relieving thing. Um, I've interviewed um, DMC several times, and they have found the uh, they have solved the murder of Jam Master J. Oh, how yeah. long has it been? Twenty years. Twenty years. Twenty years. <laughs> it's after. been twenty years already. Yeah, since and it turned out to That's that he crazy. was gunned down and uh, murdered by uh, his uh, by Carl Jordan Jr. Uh, and Ronald Washington, who was his friend and uh, godson. Dang. Yeah, they, they they were the ones that ended up killing uh, Jam Master J, and the uh, prosecutors said that it was motivated by greed and revenge, and oh. it was all just kind of a secret. And there was always like a an idea of who did it, and just not saying who did it. Yeah. And finally, it did come out, and you know, I know that there's closure in that for for Daryl and for yeah. Um, I I don't know. I've never met Ron, but I think uh, he's probably pretty happy. Yeah, I that's- imagine. That's so like Tupac they solved, which we already knew for a while, right? Jada Pinkett killed him. Well, yeah, that's uh, what I heard. It was and then, yeah, just now this stressed him out. So <laughs> sure. yeah. just stressed. He probably out. did it. That's why, he's, <laughs> that's why he was bald. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, be quiet. he got that's tired. He of, yeah. some shit. Got tired of hearing himself and shot himself six times. <laughs> <in a> red light. <laughs> for real. He couldn't. Right at which will red not light. leave me alone. <laughs> Can't stand this motherfucker. She keeps calling me, Shug. <laughs> Go take a nap. <laughs> will, will you take her off my hands? For real. Will you take her off my hands? Please. Uh, the verdict followed a four-week trial in which jurors heard from several witnesses who recounted the moment. Uh, the pair killed the legendary DJ in Hollis on October 30th, 2002. Ronald Washington was Jam Master Jay's childhood friend, and Carl Jr., like I said, was his godson. They will each face 20 years to life. Wow. Dang. Yeah, sorry to bring down. The solved though, it's good. It is solved. You know what else is solved? What's that? Ugh. Sarah's new set <laughs> for <decadence. laughs> Sarah Gonzalez, yes. unfiltered. What? She was filtered before, but now she's unfiltered. What do you mean? There's a coffee filter? Yeah, they put. Wow. Ah, that spicy little meat taco. <laughs> Whoa. He's now hosting the Whoa. Sarah. I, 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 oh. It says spicy Latina. All right. She's a friend of the show. She mm. comes on quite often whenever we need a spicy Latina. Yes. And you can come to her five nights a <laughs> week. <laughs> 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 no, 
know. I was trying to read off the book. Sarah, I didn't mean it like that. It was not <laughs> drive intentional. A, drive a Porsche deal with it. It wasn't. Uh, there's no holds barred. <laughs> you have a book. No, she has a no holds barred take on news, politics, and culture. Yeah. She's also joined by regular guests and newsmakers to help make sense of all the madness. You can watch it on Blaze TV and Sarah Gonzalez on Filtered YouTube channel or listen wherever you get your podcasts. So go there. Yeah. Also leave us a review yeah, on please. Spotify and I do. I, the show, it may look like just some vintage Sarah, but it's also brand new Sarah, Ooh. completely unfiltered. So tune in, check it out. You're going to love it. Sarah Go Gonzalez, unfiltered. It's It premiered already. No more, <laughs> no more swear jar. I don't. I don't think she has a swear jar anymore. What? Did they have Unfiltered. one before? They did. It's right there. You can't see it. All right. Oh. Right there. It's over there. Oh, okay. Go watch. Sexy. Nice. Come to me. Let's talk a little bit about Biden. I think this is important. Mm -hmm. I hear Biden fucks. Biden. That's great. <laughs> Biden claims that. Uh, well, the detail about Biden, uh, his marriage, was revealed in Katie Rogers' forthcoming book, American Woman. The transformation of the modern first lady from Hillary Clinton to Jill Biden. Sounds like a real page turn. <laughs> My goodness. Yeah. Uh, the Bidens are openly affectionate couple. How? Showing their love for one another Prove with it. public romantic gestures like feeding him applesauce and changing him <laughs> <laughs> in public <laughs> at the nearest cheesecake factory. Putting <laughs> on his Velcro shoes. <laughs> yeah, for real. Wheeling him in and out of places. <laughs> yeah. Telling people he doesn't have dementia. Reminding Helping him, him up and down the stairs. A Biden 81 says the key to his marriage is good sex. He's, of course, talking mm. about with his daughter, Ashley. Oh, <laughs> Read the next quote. <laughs> okay. I'd rather, he's, he says, I'd rather be at home making love to my wife while my children are asleep. He said in 2006. <laughs> he definitely when, got dementia. Yeah, when, <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> and asked about running for the Democrat. Why would you do that? Like, you know what? I like to fuck when the kids are <laughs> at home. Yeah. <laughs> the kid's like 30 in 2006. <laughs> man, get out of here, man. <laughs> You losing your mind already, man. He's downhill from here, man. That's right. They got Ronald Reagan as the president. Man. True. He sneaks into his kids' homes. And yeah, yeah. It's yeah, my I'm favorite saying. time. Why they sleep? My kids are asleep. I'm just like fifty something. Um, he's like, what I like to do is invite all the kids over for a sleepover yeah, and let them get to sleep. Oh. Bring their kids over as well. Everybody go to sleep. All the children. Yeah, me and you now to fuck on the patio. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the, the good old days. Yes, on the bathroom floor. It's every Christmas. Every Christmas. You, that's your. You all. You all. I open. I open my present and then you open up the slotting door and watch yours. Yeah, watch. <laughs> watch you have to explain. This to your kids. Family <laughs> tradition. <laughs> oh my God. Why, why is this even a thing? I don't want to know about this. Why would you want a modern first lady from Hillary Clinton to Jill Biden? You're basically going, like, okay, so the woman that got cheated on. Yeah, Jane. Yeah. A man. Yeah. And then you have Trump's wife, who was hot. And then you have Jill Biden, who pretends to be a doctor. That's going to be a great book. Oh, oh yeah, oh. yeah. She probably oh. might be the best medic in the country. <laughs> the way they doctoring up Biden to look like a human. <laughs> that is a, yeah, actually, he, she's not doing a good job. No. Yeah, every now and then she slip up a little bit, you know. Yeah, when he starts wandering off and falling off. <laughs> yeah, just... He's digging in his nose at a restaurant. <laughs> Get out of your nose, Joe. All right. She goes to the bathroom for two seconds and he's just sleeping in his soup. Yeah. <laughs> These are world leaders, Joe. Uh, Joe, please, we're meeting Xi Jinping. Stop shaking the curtain. For, for real. <laughs> Did you give him his medicine? She's like, I don't know. It's a Monday through Friday shaker, but it's also worth it just that day. Yeah, you don't never know how it's going to be that day. <laughs> Damn, man, that's crazy. He's the president. Know. We live in a yeah. great country. We do. You can actually, they, they'll they tell you that you cannot be convicted of a crime because of your mental state, but then tell you you can still be president. Yeah, yeah because of your mental state. Yeah, it's incredible. Yeah. Very yeah. few countries would ever. Nah, that's why we the laughing stock. You know, I say that we should take the, the different candidates when they're like 90 years old. Yeah. And one part of the election process, put them in like the big brother house. 
and like <laughs> mix up some of their pills. You know what I mean? Like the, his <laughs> dementia pills, and they got to live together. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh yeah, and you're yeah. just taking uh, Clinton's Viagra. Yeah, you know what I mean? And and like that's how you get. You know, that'd be we vote for by phone like American Idol. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, I yeah. like it. Well, and we are. I mean, we are a laughing stock. You're right. Like Italian TV is still ripping on Biden. Like this is a sketch actually from Italian TV. Oh no. Buonasera, Presidente. Oh, Biden. man. It just looks real. <laughs> Good evening, Mr. Pre no, President. Biden. It, does. it looks like Matt McClowry. It does. Here we yeah. are, President, Presi uh, President Biden. Qui. But it do kind of look like Matt. Yes, yes. Good evening. <laughs> Buonasera. He's too vibrant. Uh, yes. Eh? I said to... The president of Israel, si. Mikhail Gorbachev. No, no, non è Gorbachev. <laughs> <laughs> this is another Italian. Uh, hey, oh, oh, oh man. President, Mr. President. It's okay. Are you okay, President? It's okay. Okay. Tutto a posto. Welcome. Benvenuto. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't tell. Now can we show a real a video of Biden? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see a real Just to one. Compare. And you know, uh, stand here in front of this portrait, the man behind me here. He, uh, he said, and I want to make sure I get the quote exactly right. He said, we, the better angel, he said, we must address the council <laughs> and address the better angels of our nature. And we do, and we do well to remember what else he said? He said, we're not enemies, but we're friends. It's the middle of this is in the, in the part of the Civil War. He said, we're not enemies, but we're friends. We must not be enemies. Folks, and I've been around. I know I don't look it. I've been around a long while. Oh, you look. Uh, and uh, <laughs> what did he say, though? Nothing. <laughs> nothing at all. He said, he said, he said, he said nothing. Hey, look, I know I cannot read. <laughs> For the life of me, all right? But I'm not the president of the United States. He said, but a man said, and I heard a man say, he, and he said, said it. <laughs> What's the <a> same? <laughs> so I went and got, I'm telling you. I went and got length of train in the Civil War. <laughs> and it was, she was driving a Chevy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and there was many geese. To the levee. And it was dry. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> I want to thank everybody for the American pie tonight. It was delicious. Uh, marijuana is legal <laughs> in Utah. <laughs> I'd like to thank my wife, Dr. Jill. For that nooner. Yes, it was great. We oh, did. Yeah. <laughs> and the kids. Oh, why the kids? <laughs> why the kids asleep? <laughs> we did it on our panda rug. Yeah. In front of the kids. <laughs> like the good old days. <laughs> As took put her diaper to the side. We <laughs> <laughs> and went to town and rode her like a porch monkey. Yeah, it was great on our oh endangered skin rug. <laughs> yeah. In front of faces of kids I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember their the names. <laughs> I, just, I, name. I just remember them by smell. Man, that's good. <laughs> I love being American. It's moments like this that give me pride. That, when yep. Biden just, all of that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Whatever you want to be, said, man. Yeah. Well, I think it just shows that we're still functional of all the stuff that's been forced and like, sh like everything that's tried to divide us and thrown into our country and into our culture and. It just shows that we can still function <laughs> without them. Well, you don't actually need a president. Yeah. No, not really. No, we yeah. ain't had a president in a while. No, no, yeah, it's, it's been supposed to be. It's been roughly four years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> Give or take. Well, yeah. Trump was kind of there. Yeah, he was I, there. I mean, he was. I, he, he wasn't bad. He was, if you want to look at it, like yeah, some of that last year, you know, the last year was, made some yeah. mess mess ups. You could say. Yeah, yeah. It, it was the it was the but three before that. The three years of de of decent economy. Yeah. I mean, I think, uh, you know, you had Barack, you had people that were, that they at least, whatever you think about their politics came off as a leader. And then at this point, we're just going, oh, this is not 
this isn't anything. Yeah, no, this really ain't. Wake up. Don't, this don't even count. Like, we all know Clinton was a scumbag, but you still listen to him because he had charisma. Yeah, yeah exactly. I want to hear what he got to say. Yeah. I'm embarrassed when I see Biden on there talking. Like, they keep letting him, giving him a microphone. Who keep doing this? He's just this old racist dude. Like, even the whole corn pop story, it's about keeping black kids out of a swimming pool in Delaware. <laughs> It's beautiful. <laughs> People they like, rub, they rub my legs. Keep, I, I, I want to. I want to my legs. I want to be a Biden paparazzi and just follow him around for the next three months until he croak over. Yeah, careful just, with the flash camera, though. <laughs> yeah, that might that <laughs> might end it early. He might Take stroke out. out of something. You hit him with the wrong flash. <laughs> Damn. Boo. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. oh no. Runs God reminds from, me of Nam. God from really in the Nam palace. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! One of the Loompa Oompas. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the one Oompa Loompa. What's her name? With the cigarette, she got the Virginia Slim in her mouth. Just a Wanda. one-handed prostitute. There she is. <laughs> oh this is the best. Can we zoom in on her? <laughs> With the, uh, yeah. I love the fact that she's actually just making drugs. Yeah. <laughs> look at how she looked like she owned the drugs right there now. Oh, zoom. here it goes. Here it goes. Yeah. That's nothing an Oompa Loompa had. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. It's a man's lab. <laughs> That's a Beetlejuice Oompa Loompa. <laughs> You got a Beetlejuice pattern, man. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. The smirk. She, she got that little cloth this. somewhere. And she just oh, put that glove on it. Yeah, she just laid a glove over the hook hand. <laughs> yeah. She don't want to freak the kids out. <laughs> She's sitting there making glass. <laughs> <laughs> you should ever work retail, you know that, that face. Like, why is her kid so... Does he have the sugar highs? No, an Oompa Loompa uh, made him snort and meth off his Yeah. Nose. All my <laughs> life, magical. I, I wasn't watching him. <laughs> it was a whimsical watch some experience. kids around them Oompa Loompa motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. She's like, it's the best you ever had. <laughs> yeah, for real. That's the good stuff there, ain't it? That's the good <laughs> stuff, ain't it, Ryan? <laughs> you like it, girl? Yeah. Come on, boy. You want to take another ride? Let's go. Come on, take a sniff. <laughs> Yeah, you feel like God, don't you? <laughs> feel like an angel is caressing your face. <laughs> oh, She's now you're like, hitting the gum. Now you're hitting the come down. Like, like rubbing your hook on him. <laughs> yeah. You feel like God giving you kisses. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right on the back of your neck, right on the small of your back. Yeah. <laughs> oh no man. massage by a cloud. Oh, for real. <laughs> she got that little clamp thing. She keep pulling it. Touching his shoulders, rubbing your shoulders, well. You don't even want to eat anything. You're full with love and life. <laughs> love and life. Take a look. The world is ready, made it age or something. I got a hook. <sighs> ah, that's funny. <laughs> All right, we're running out of time. David, I want to thank you so much for coming on the show. I hope nah. you will come back. Nah, thank you, Dave. Yeah, I'll come back whenever you have me. Dude, I'll come back yeah. whenever you want. Man, um, this is fun here. Yeah. And uh, where again can we see you? Uh, what, tonight? Uh, not tonight, unfortunately. This will air after that. Oh, yeah. But I will throw out the uh, IKYFL oh. podcast. Well, yeah, that's on like YouTube. If I know you're uh, fucking lying. Yeah, I know you fucking lying. I love that title. We, um... You can find it. I know you lying pod on Instagram. My handle is Mr. D Jolly on Instagram. Uh, yeah, that's basically it. And then, um, you know, I've been on a bunch of Kill Tony episodes. And I'm on tour. It's called America, America's Favorite Uncle Tour. I All should right. probably get a website for that, but I'm stupid. So <laughs> I just that's the name of it. You can't find it nowhere, but <laughs> Willie's Chocolate Experience dot com. And, and Zanies, right? Yeah, Zanies, yeah, Zanies, 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 Zanies up. and yeah. All right, let's go to uh the end of the world. <laughs> Say oh. <laughs> Ow. All right. A Texas man was caught at an antique store shoving items up his butt <laughs> and then returning them back to the shelves for others to purchase. Oh, no. What do you think some of the items were? QB. Uh, uh, I, I really hope it was like a mini Statue of Liberty or something. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was brown, and he put it right back on the, on the thing and walked away like nothing happened. You know those whiskey tankards? You know, like those little glass sets? Yeah. One of those. Like right. a weird shaped one, okay. he was. I just want to see the skill. He was duking shooting everything, right? He was suitcasing anything it, right? you could find in the antique store. He was suitcasing. Yeah, I mean, you could have like a flute. 
Yeah, an antique stool box. <laughs> yeah, probably a, uh, 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 a record player. Nah, you, nah, 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 nah. Maybe you don't know. A Van Gogh lap stainless. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I like that. Dark Probably a, a, a bunch of wedding rings, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. He got it's all kind fistful. of wedding rings up that shoot. Yeah. <laughs> like an old harmonica. <laughs> yeah, for real. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> What's the other one that you played in like the first grade? Everybody. The recorder. A recorder. Oh, recorder, yeah. 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 Like a yeah. kazoo? Yeah. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. A harmonica. Yeah. Probably a xylophone. Keep oh, hot yeah. cross buns. You could. Yeah, <laughs> talk, yeah you talk about hot cross buns. Yeah. Perhaps a glass meth lab that's sitting next to an Oompa Loompa on a yeah. bar counter. Mm. I'm pretty sure that's possible. You could jam it up there. Or like one of those little hands, clink, 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 like the pirate hand that lady got. Clink, 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 clink. Yeah. Sticky mantle baseball card. <laughs> Sticky mantle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got to go. <laughs> this is fun. Good night. Oh, thank goodness. you for coming on. No, thank you, man. I love y'all now. We family now. Thanks, Agreed. man. Let's go to the Olive yeah, Garden. Yeah. Olive Garden. I love Olive Garden. Let's do it. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm, I'm serious. Let's do it. We're family oh, yeah. there. All right. <laughs>